Fairfax County Public Schools hosts one of the most robust and thriving theater arts education programs in the nation, serving over 50 schools K through 12. Our theater arts and technical theater arts courses and extracurricular programs promote and support the FCPS vision of a portrait of a graduate. This allows our children to develop invaluable skills and participate in creative and collaborative experiences that prepare them to be global citizens who will succeed in the 21st century and beyond. So formal and so stiff, like a sergeant at arms at the policeman's ball. And everybody's pushing to be the first in line, their hearts upon their sleeves like a 10 cent valentine. Getting yourself out there to perform, you become such a good public speaker, you develop skills that even if you decide to go into a career that has nothing to do with theater, you have skills that you can use no matter what you choose to do. Doing theater in high school, it's something that I really, really enjoy doing, but it also gives me a sense of communication. I think there are a lot of ways people can communicate, uh, many, many, and the arts, all of them, essentially are an expression of communication in one way or another, but I don't think there's anything more uh, directly impactful to a person, at least for me, from my perspective, than sitting in an audience and just seeing life happen in front of you. That's exciting for me. You know what, Hannah? You know what? I hate that dumb tattoo on your right shoulder. A for anarchy. I know I told you it was cool, but it's actually pretty frickin' stupid. What kind of anarchist makes custom jewelry? You went to Mount Holyoke. Your dad pays your visa. The devil you know beats the devil you don't. The promised land could turn out to be dry. Once you're gone, you might ask yourself why. Maybe you will, or maybe you won't. But the devil you know beats the devil you don't. Theater is other people. Theater is perspective. It's about looking at other people, stepping into other, another person's shoes. Because theater is inherently a study of human nature. By inhabiting these different characters, by, by becoming these different people on stage, you find different parts of yourself that you didn't even know were there. It's, it's a process of self-discovery that I, by putting yourself in that other person's shoes, it, by seeing the world from someone else's eyes, that creates a change in each audience member's heart that can spurn Social, social change easier than I think anything else. I think theater is activism. Um, and I also had two amazing teachers in the fine arts. One of them was a theater teacher and they both made really huge impacts on my life. And I knew that I wanted to make that kind of impact on other people's lives. And I also knew that I really liked working with kids. And I thought if there's a way that I can combine theater and working with kids, two things that I really love, then I really wanted to do that. And that's how I figured out that I wanted to pursue theater education in college. You know how you feel when you have to reach down and feel around for the teaspoon? You don't want to do it. Who knows what could be down there? It could be anything. Garbage, piece of something. So much stuff goes down there. Plus, germs. You can't see germs, but if they're gonna be anywhere, they're gonna be down that disposal. During our show of Guys and Dolls, we found that there was a problem when we were changing from the New York scenes to the Havana scenes. I decided during our next rehearsal, I would start taking those clothes and putting it back. So next rehearsal, once they threw off all their clothes to the side, I ran over, grabbed their clothes, and I put it back to where they needed to be, all folded and nice, and during the next change, they wouldn't have to worry about coming out late because they didn't know where their clothes were. Because when I did do that, it wasn't just a director saying, Travion, go do this. It was me going, this needs to get fixed. I need to go fix this. Cause... I didn't even know he was coming. Surprise! And I said, Daddy. And he looked around like he thought someone else had come in. 
And I said, Daddy, it's me, Rosanna. Um, one of the biggest things I've learned from theater is how to be confident mm. and to believe in myself. There was a part that I, I really wanted, and even though I was kind of set up for a different part, I, I pushed and I pushed and I kept trying and I eventually got that role and that builds you up as a person to know that you have a goal and you can actually reach it. And when Going through the audition process builds confidence. It builds character, it builds discipline because you have to work extremely hard at everything you do. Even if you're just sitting on a stage, you always have to be doing something, you always have to have an air about you. So it builds confidence to just go for it, go for it. I guess I'm here to explain myself Why I went and where And I guess that's fair I didn't, I stayed and I said to him, do you remember, do you remember what I said to you? I said you are worthless. You have a daughter and she is a gift from God. She's the most perfect being to ever walk this earth and you don't even realize it. I've, I've been able to be more comfortable with who I am and with who other people are. Uh, and I've just, it, I'm not like leading the group, but I'm being a part of the group and we're working together and uh, uh, working together to create something. Um, and I think that's important no matter what you do. Uh, that's, that's going to be important no matter where you go, what you do, or who you are. And when I started studying acting, I started learning that it's about stories being told. It's about honesty and the truth of people. I want to be an actor because I want my story told. And it's hey, planting crops, splitting rails, swapping tails around the fire. Except for Sundays when we lie around all day Soon your friends are more like family And they's begging you to stay Ain't that neat? Living sweet in Santa Fe um, Theater is important to me not only because it's what I want to do with the rest of my life, but um, I think that it can really advocate change um, in a political and environmental sort of way, but also in a person. Um, I've seen kids take Theater One being the shyest kids in the world and come out ready to perform a monologue and belt out a song. Um, because when you're little, theater is an opportunity to get attention. And being educated in theater makes you realize that theater has so much more potential than that. And I learned that at Marshall, I learned that at Kilmer, um, especially taking IB theater. I'm so thankful for every teacher, every program, every show I've ever been in, because it's brought me where I am today. And I can't think of anything else to do with my life than sit and write a script or perform on a stage. Fairfax County Public Schools Theater Arts, where every child discovers value, vision, and voice.